Hello and welcome to this cold episode of uh, Bloke on the Range. It's the 3rd of January, temperatures are in the negative and it's snowing. Perfect weather for going to shoot your percussion revolver, wouldn't you say? Huh? Uh, no, my muffled friend, I was serious because I have this. So what exactly is this? Well, in this smart little tin that looks like a gentleman's playing wake it is everything you need to shoot your reproduction percussion revolver indoors or short range outdoors. And these come in uh, two calibers, 44 and 36. Um, and there's various kits available depending on who made your revolver and when. Cut-off date seems to be about uh, 1980 and um, there's a whole list that allows you to easily determine what kit is uh, good for you. Um, there's changes in threading and all that so it's important to get the right one. Anyway this one is for um, Euro Arms and Perazzoli Rogers and Spencers um, pre-1980 and this is uh, from 1979 a fine vintage if I may say so. So inside we have a short set of uh, instructions currently only in French but uh, I may do something to remedy that and we have six percussion nipples and some little brass shims more about those in a sec we have six 44 caliber hard rubber um, air pellets basically a nice flat nose and some six millimeter blanks or two two blanks 25 just to get you going and a pokey thing probably unpatented which is uh, not metallic it's actually a carbon fiber so it won't scratch your revolver so it all hangs on these nipples see they are uh, they'll have the thread appropriate to your revolver cylinder and there is two there are two slots which are for a screwdriver to screw them in and 90 degrees to those are two teeth if you like and those teeth are for uh, igniting a blank so if we take one of these when you load up your cylinder last thing you do is you put pop one of these in now they pop in with a, just a little bit of friction so they don't come out again and these have no recoil when you fire them so they don't get to the shaken off like uh, percussion caps regularly do anyway once in place you'll see that it means that there are two places the nine at 180 degrees to each other that are going to get crushed they're going to crush the rim of uh, of the blank and uh, that will flash and uh, propel the pellet out from the cylinder down through the barrel and uh, surprisingly well on target up to about 10 meters so um, the other thing you would need is then a wide bladed screwdriver so that you can uh, screw the nipples in and um, what they also recommend is that every couple of shots, every couple of cylinderfuls, you put a uh, an oiled um, brush down the barrel and the cylinder just to uh, keep things oiled up. Since uh, I think we all know that these things are actually foul and and uh, coat everything in gunk. So I'm going to apply those six nipples to my uh, cylinder and then uh, take it upstairs load it up and uh, show you what it does on target oh yes i forgot to mention the little brass washers or shims there they're actually there so you can adjust the uh, the length of the nipple depending on the model uh, of revolver and any wear that, uh, that it'll have had the uh, the hammer face may not strike cleanly or perpendicularly on the um, on the primer 
so you can use you can use the shim there to adjust the distance or maybe you can even thin it down if necessary right to work so here we are in the barn i've swabbed out all the chambers and the barrel with a uh, brush here that's been soaked in gun oil and um, then you just pop in your rubber pellets um, there's two ways you can do that it recommends either you use the rammer or you use this pokey thing to put them in i've done both i haven't noticed any difference um, so just for convenience i use the rammer there all that remains now to do is put the caps in now i'm wearing a hat indoors which is not usually a typical thing i do but uh, it's my little homage to one Geert Hardefeld, who was the barman at a club SV Okaka in the, in the Hague where Bloke and I did a lot of shooting. He sadly passed away last year and um, he was a very wily chap, great fan of our Americana and he never ever went anywhere without his black cowboy hat so this is to you, Geert. Rust in Frede, cowboy. It's a little bit fiddly, but not quite as fiddly as percussion caps. Okay. We're all ready to shoot. Target is at 10 meters, as usual. Let's see. Well, ladies and gents, um, in true bloke on the range fashion, the target cam wasn't uh, running. So I was standing here aside so you'd have a nice target that would appear live. Um, sorry, you're just going to trust me. So there we have it. Not too bad. I have done better, to be honest, but this is the seventh card I've shot and the gun is starting to get really heavy. Nevertheless, one, two, three, four, five, six. And um, the target backstop is just a wooden case that I've uh, that I had hanging hang around, in which I have hung a heavy sheet, cotton sheet, which I've hold, folded up uh, about six times and suspended, uh, and it holds quite nicely against uh, the pellets. You can see there are little spots where it's they've hit nice and square, and then I've put a ledge in here so that uh, the pellets just drop down and can be easily picked up so they don't really need much to stop them uh, they recommend you know paper or some uh, rubber um, straps um, what do you call them rubber strips they'll just uh, absorb the impact as well so no high-tech installation needed so now we've finished shooting uh, all that remains is to remove the caps and then you can go as many times as you like. Um, they have blown out inside the nipple, so there is quite a bit of friction retaining them in there, uh, but should be no problem for our pokey thing. As I said, it's carbon fiber, so it won't scratch the frame when it uh, suddenly pokes out the other side. So you just feed it in, and you've got a nice finger groove there in the top, you notice, and then you can just push and out they pop. Und so weiter. So I hope you found that uh, entertaining. Um, it's good fun, uh, mucky business, however. But um, yeah, it's a great idea for cold days, snowy days, rainy days. Um, also a very good tool to get people into black powder revolver shooting because you use basically the same actions as you would uh, on a live range, minus the powder. So, um, you know, it gets them used to the bang, gets them used to the reloading protocol and the safety aspects that they have to consider. So, all in all, a good tool. Now, the idea itself isn't new. 
um, Pedal Soli. They do a very similar kit for their single shot percussion pistols. Uh, I think they use a um, shotgun primer as, as uh, the ignition source with their own proprietary nipple and firing round balls. So thank you for watching. Thank you to all you uh, contributors to Patreon or through our merchandise. And uh, I'll see you again next time.